Well, my son and I are pretty deep into this 16 foot cedar canoe build. And then I realized I only have one paddle. Another one. And so I thought I'd build one myself. And I'm gonna use some Aspen. This is just a one by eight piece of Aspen. You could also use poplar or anything really like cedar, but try to pick out a piece that doesn't have any knots in it. And I like the Aspen because it's light in color and it's not very heavy and it's easy to manipulate. And I've also got some mahogany that I wanna use for trim. Now you don't have to do what I did. If you can find a one by eight piece of lumber that is in really good shape, you don't need to cut it down the center and add any trim, but I kind of like the look of the mahogany running down the center of this board. But it'll take a little extra time to glue up. And so if you're just using a straight one by eight piece, you can go right into shaping but because I had this mahogany down the center, I needed to run it through the planer just to bring all the pieces of wood back to the same level. Now, I like this design of my old paddle, so I'm gonna trace it out and copy the design, but you can find uh, plans out on the internet for a bunch of different designs. So find one that you like. And also, if you don't have a bandsaw, you can also use a jigsaw just to cut out this rough shape. Now, because it's only a three quarter inch thick piece of wood, I need to beef up the handle a little bit. And I'm gonna use another piece of that mahogany. And I'm also gonna cut it in half down the length to give me two thin pieces that are a little less than three eighths of an inch thick. And they're gonna go on both sides of the handle to stiffen it up. It's starting to take shape. And so while I only clamped up the one side just to let the glue set, I'll put both pieces on here glued in place and clamped. Yay! Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, well, all right. Yeah. And this is the artistic part of the build. You really have to just take a look at it and work it on the sander until it starts to look even and it looks nice. And because I want to reduce the thickness of the paddle, I'm going to draw a line down the center here so that when I start to take material off, I try to do it evenly against both sides of that paddle. And so for the handle, I needed to plane it down so that all the pieces were at the same height. And I also used some 40 grit belt sandpaper to really take off the material quickly. In fact, I'll use the belt sander to shape the end of the paddle here. That 40 grit paper just removes lots of material and it's just as fast as using a hand plane. But you have to be careful and check out against your pencil line to make sure that you're taking off the material evenly on both sides. And so we'll check it and I need to take off maybe a little bit more and then blend in the shaft to the blade. Now on the handle, the Mahogany needed to be ground down just to blend it in to the end of the handle, but I'm also gonna gouge out some material here so that it provides a little bit of a grip for you on the very end of that handle. And the belt sander does a nice job kind of gouging that material out.
We'll do one more step here with the router to take off the square edges of the handle, and then we'll get into finished sanding. And so while I use 220 on the orbital sander here, ultimately I wound up wiping it down with a, a damp rag to raise the fibers a little bit. And then I finished it off with hand sanding using 320 paper. So you've got a couple of choices in how to finish this. You could actually use marine spar varnish to finish it, but I wanted to strengthen up the paddle by using epoxy and make that my hardening coat and also my waterproofing coat. This is the same material we used for the canoe. So you can actually build this project in a single day. And at the end of the day, if you coat the paddle with some epoxy, that'll stiffen up the fibers and it'll make it waterproof so that the next day you could actually take the thing out. At most, you might want to add some marine grade varnish to the exterior. It'll give it a little extra gloss and it'll add some UV protection to it, but otherwise you can use it the next day. For those people that enjoy the outdoors, I hope you grab your daughter, I hope you grab your son, and maybe make this a little family project to make a couple of these things because uh, it's a ton of fun and it's completely functional and you made it. Oh, sorry.